Merry Christmas Eve. I thought I'd continue painting with the Harry Potter watercolor advent calendar paints and do some splatter florals. I haven't done them in a while. So I picked that beautiful blue made from grapes. Now I've got some blue on the page and it's time to make some petals out of nothing. Since I've got a few florals developing, I'll add in while they're still wet some centers. Hi, Tebra. Going to add in some petunia. Washing a little of that off. So far, all of this is using the Princeton Neptune. I'm not really worried about composition at this time. Just making florals. I feel like I could fit another one in here. Um, a little bit more blue and mix it with petunia. thinking this might be pretty with ink to add some outlines. And it almost looks like we're going for a wreath look. So let me sneak in another blue one. Hardly using anything from the dots. Okay, so I think those are pretty good to start with. Now it's time for some leaves. I'm going to use lavender for that. Merry Christmas Eve, Jess. I hope you're having a wonderful day with family. There's Zeno's toenails. <laughs> and Zeno's nose. <laughs> okay, thank you. She just gave me a cute little kiss and now she's off. some colors from grapes and then this green from lavender hopefully with some greenery this will all come together And then, of course, I was just mentioning I could use some ink as well. Once this dries up, 
this is such a cute little wreath. I'm very happy with this. Um, and it was just splatter to start. No idea where we would go. Just using the colors to help. You might need this one. Well then, I should ask you where I should go with this next. Um, some ink for some centers, uh, a couple of outlines, or let's see, seeing where else I need some leaves. such a sweet one <laughs> we could do let me show you some other wreaths that I did recently so this one was yesterday's I really like these super barely there florals I like that and this one's got a lot of gold shimmer in there even in the leaves that's a festive one. So, yeah. I think what I could do is these itty bitty florals might look good tucked into some little corners to just fill out some of those gaps. So that's what's gonna go in next. Let's do that. I used a size four round and I'll tie in the other color from, from grapes. Okay, let's make a couple little Petal shapes. Add in some water. Wow. Zeno must see some birds out there. She wants to get outside. LMZ skate, they loved that. First of all, they couldn't believe that I painted them. <laughs> they were so happy. Let's see. during that one. <laughs> Always worried about the tiny ones. So we've got a little bit of filler here. I want to do some here and here. dropping off her bone saying it's time for playing <laughs> which we did a lot of this morning thank you Monica Tucked in 
some more there. Definitely want some poking out here. It's going to be the next location. And just love these dot cards. So much paint. Zena just hopped up on the table to see what I was painting. This is watercolor. All the colors you see are made from plants. Deborah, I didn't make this paint myself. This is from Boulder Colors. She uses a lake pigment process. So, alum, we've got, um, trying to think through her little recipes right now. She posts all about it all the time. Um, the pigment all just comes from plants or, or food. And this Harry Potter advent calendar is tying in all the colors with the story. So three different colors made from Lily. Right, and then for this piece, oh, a piece of Xena, excuse me. Um, grapes, we've got Lupin's Howler, right? Moonflower, Angel's Trumpet. There's a lot to tie in here for the storyline. And this one, uh, what was this? Mint? Oh, thyme, powdered rue. This one's got mint in it, I think. Peppermint and rose. So the main star here really has been red cabbage. Yeah, check out Boulder Colors over on Instagram. She posts so many process videos. She's got a little educational ebook or physical print book if you want to do it yourself. She doesn't hold any secrets back. She tells you exactly how to do it and is always open about helping you with your process. It's a super fun project. Dragon fruit might be one of my new favorite colors. Um, crepe myrtle, I haven't actually used that one yet. Have to paint poppies with poppy. You know me, I'm going to do that. Um, and then this one is especially nice because you're using an invasive species to make paint. So they, they got to go anyway. They're not good for the local environment. So a great way to make something good out of an invasive species. Um, and then this one is also a star. This is a beautiful gold color, the gold that I used in these paintings. Over here, it's made from onion skin. <laughs> Uh, let me post it as a comment. It's bolder colors, bolder as in the city. Hmm. Here we go. Where are my comments down here? I've been able to write comments before. I think they moved it. Oh, I found it. <laughs> bolder colors. You can find the link to their website in my bio. If you're interested in grabbing any of these paints, 
or any of her other paints. She's got a whole bunch of sets. Um, I do have a 10% discount code plus uh, Lea 10, L-E-A 10. It's in my bio as well, so you don't have to remember how to spell that. Um, and thank you for the florals compliment. Um, trying to think about where else I want to add some things. This one is really telling me to add some ink and really make those petals pop and centers pop. So I want to keep it very minimal there. And then just have these little florals, um, maybe one more down here, be the loose ones that don't have any definition to them. So they fade into the background. So let me do one more. Just using this paint from Berries for that. anyone still have to do any traveling today? I hope you're where you're supposed to be. Zizki, you attempted the winter trees. You need better paint and definitely better brushes. Um, for my first year, I, I painted with really cheap brushes and the Princeton brushes, while an investment, really hold their shape well. Um, and you know I, I use them daily, so I put them to good work. Thank you. Now that I've got four, I kind of want to add a little bit more here. Maybe just a couple. I don't want a big burst, just a, a couple up here. There's something that needs to continue. Just a few little blooms peeking out behind this. Something like that. Yeah, this is a really pretty one. And I had no plan for today's painting. Just knew what colors I wanted to include. This one is just about done for our live. Once the whole thing is dry, I will go in and add a little bit of fine black liner, um, give them some centers that are more defined. Um, I'm very excited to see how this is going to turn out. This is one of my recent favorites. I really love the soft, sweet colors in this one. So thank you for joining me today. It was great to see some friends on here. And I hope you have some wonderful holidays with family, friends, good food, <laughs> maybe a surprise present here and there left. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Ellen Zieski. Thank you, thank you. I'll probably take tomorrow off, um, off from painting and then lots of painting for my rest of my break. Uh, I go back to work January 2nd, so <laughs> probably not painting then. I'll be too tired, but lots of lives to come. Bye everyone. <laughs>